this isn't an ideal spring morning for a walk. I think it was too much. But Kent Olson was a mail carrier for years. The weather doesn't stop him. I was on the route just down here back in 2004 when it snowed 18 inches while I was out delivering the mail. But it wasn't just snow falling from above in this neighborhood around 2900 South. The branches here, they weren't here yesterday. Neither were these. Snowflakes gave way to sawdust through the morning. Just a loud rumbling noise that kept getting louder and louder. And, and then it suddenly stopped with a, a bang against the house. Jeff Crandall said this happened around 730. The tree did some serious damage to a car in his driveway, but the roof of his house looks OK. Crandall figures they're lucky. It could have wiped out the front half of my house pretty yeah. easily. A Salt Lake City work crew got busy turning that tree into more manageable pieces. Yeah, huh. I, these guys are good. This same scene has been playing out all over the city. The Urban Forestry Division says they'll still be finding damage for weeks and fixing it into the summer. The director says he can't recall a similar situation in at least 10 years. I'm glad I don't have a tree like that next to my house. Kent Olson's made it back around the block now. While the work crews handle the big stuff, there you go. He'll chip in with the small stuff. Probably should throw that up on the side there. It's something a lot of people. Oops, took my glasses off. Will be doing for a while.